Hello from the back of beans again. So I am here on a Friday uploading my video. The reason why it's a Friday instead of a Thursday is a funny story that's going to come to you on Monday when I give you the Philadelphia video. There's going to be so much information and I'm so excited to show you what it is that you guys voted for me to do. So here I am today all set to talk to you about a place called Madeira Beach in Florida. You might be wondering why I'm talking about Madeira when I'm not in Florida yet. But if you remember way back when I told you that I have requests from certain people about different places around the world where they'd like to go to visit. So I'm going to do the history on those different places as well. Today's one of those special days. Benjamin had requested the history of Madeira Beach. So we're going to do that video first. All right, let's get into the history of Madeira Beach, Florida. First, let's talk about Madeira Beach today. It's located on the south of Florida on the west side of the state. That means Gulf of Mexico. Bright blue water, totally white sandy beaches, probably amazing hotels and condos to stay in, tons of stuff to do with your family, a really great place. Now there's a story to how all of this happened. So let's go back in history now and I'll start from the beginning. <laughs> Most of you probably know that in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, which meant that the king and queen of Spain gave him a ton of money to cross the ocean, go find the new world, bring back a bunch of stuff, and give that stuff to the king and queen so that they could become even more rich. Well, other countries were doing the exact same thing around that time. One was Spain and one was Portugal. Spain actually found Florida long before Portugal found Madeira Beach. Here we go with that name thing again. Can you comment? What's the connection between Portugal and Madeira? Down in the comments. So like I was saying, Madeira Beach was discovered by Portuguese sailors. They found Native Americans on the land and of course they hoofed them off so rudely and then they took the land over. They didn't even bother to stay, they just left. Okay, so like nothing really happened around the area for about 200 years. And then this guy named John Levesque made a bunch of money and he said to himself, I need to bury this money to protect it so that people don't steal it from me. And he went all the way down to Florida, all the way on to Madeira Beach, buried it and left. Hmm, like a treasure? Well, he wanted to go back and claim it for himself, but he wasn't able to because a massive hurricane went through and took away the only way that he would have been able to get from the land in Florida to the island of Madeira. After that happened, he just sort of left it there and went away. Since then, people have spent a ton of time trying to find this buried treasure that exists on Madeira Beach. They haven't been able to do it, but that isn't how Treasure Island got its name. What's really interesting is that in the early 1900s, there was this guy named Thomas Pierce and he purchased the land from Madeira Beach all the way south to Treasure Island. Once he did that, he thought to himself, this place is beautiful. I want people to come and see this and I want to make a bunch of money off of it. And he started to advertise and try to get people to come down, but nobody wanted to come down because there were no bridges and it wasn't really convenient or comfortable to sit on a rowboat if you wanted to go get from Florida the island and then back every time you needed something. They didn't really like it. So nobody wanted to go. In the mid 1900s though, they got smart. What they did was they buried treasure all around the island and then they advertised it. So there was a flood of people that came down searching for this buried treasure. And that's how Treasure Island actually got its name. So Madeira Beach had the treasure Treasure Island got its name because people were trying to make money off of randomly pretend buried treasure. <laughs> Monday's going to be Philadelphia and I really can't wait for you to see it. And after that, Thursday's going to be Washington DC so you guys can tell me where it is that you want me to go down there. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>